Hey guys, so today I'm going to be talking about the total consecration to Mary, which is a huge devotion to our Blessed Mother Mary, and I am so in love with her, so I'm excited about doing this video. Many of you have asked me to do this video, and so I am so excited to um, let you all know about this amazing devotion that we have. Um, this is a summer book club, so definitely check out all the other YouTubers down below. I'm excited to hear what they have to say about Mother Mary as well. And so this is what I'm gonna be talking about. So this is, th this is a consecration to Mother Mary. And so the reason why we do this is to kind of just ask Mother Mary to bring us to her son and to help lead us and guide us to kind of perfect us so that we can be the what God wanted us to be, that we can you know hear God more clearly. And she wraps us in her mantle and protects us. And you know, she is just so such a powerful woman. Um, she crushes the head of Satan and she is just an amazing woman and um, she's the highest saint that we have and I could go on and on about Mother Mary. I have several videos on her so I'll put some um, up above but today I'm going to talk about the consecration. So this book is it originated from St. Louis de Montfort. He um, obviously loved Mother Mary and wrote this devotion and so there's a couple different consecrations that you can do um, and his devotion if you are in a stage of your life where you can just really dive deeper go deeper um, I recommend doing that one St. Louis de Montfort total consecration and because that one is very intense and so I at this stage in my life can probably not do that because my life is already so intense that I need something a little different. Um, so what kind of is not as intense but still very amazing is this one. This is the 33, day to mor 33 Days to Morning Glory. This is an amazing book. This book will definitely Throughout, it's 33 days, so throughout the weeks, you just grow closer and closer to Mother Mary. And I've learned so much through this, these consecrations and everything. So I highly recommend them. Um, they, it is intense because it's 33 days, but it, like the, like I said, like the journey is just so amazing to grow closer to Mother Mary and she will do nothing but bring you to her son because her whole goal for humanity is to bring us to her son. That is her, what she wants. And so, um, so anyway, so I'm going to tell you a little bit about how to do this because it can seem confusing if you've never heard of it before. So pretty much it's 33 days and what you do is you're going to land on a feast day. So there's certain days that you can actually do this um, consecration. And, and so it actually says it in the book. I believe it's in um, the total consecration as well, the St. Louis de Monford one. Um, I'll link them down below if you're interested in either of these. There's also a children's one, which is awesome. I highly recommend that. I did this consecration first when I was little. I want to say I was maybe 11 to 12 years old and it was amazing. I have truly loved Mother Mary like as soon as I knew about her. So so you can do this with your children if you want. I my, Like I said, my mom was the one who kind of helped me to do it and so just walking them through this. Um, so it is 33 days. So you want to land on a feast day of Mother Mary. So that is the whole point of why you have certain days to do this. And so I like this because it tells you what 33 days, like what day you'll want to start on. So, um, so if you were to do it, you know, if you have a certain devotion that you really like, like I love Lourdes, like St. Bernadette, she's my girl, I love Lourdes. And so if I wanted to do a consecration on the feast day of Our Lady of Lourdes, I would start January 9th. And then her, the actual feast day is February 11th. So that's how that works. And this is great because it just, it tells you, or if you just want to do the closest one to, to the date you're at, like you can look up, okay, when's the next one? And you can do that. 
And so what you'll do is, it's so nice because this book, you just really, it walks you right through what to do. Um, this priest, by the way, who wrote this is phenomenal. He also read, um, wrote a book, um, Consoling the Heart of Jesus, which I've recommended on here several times before too, because it's one of the most amazing books um, besides the Bible and the Catechism, Theology of the Body. I mean, it's up there though. It's really a good one. Um, but this one, he he's phenomenal. And so pretty much he walks you through week by week different saints and kind of their take and kind of walks you through the saints to with Mary kind of thing or to Mary. And so the first week is St. Louis de Montfort and then the second week is St. Maximilian Colby. The third week is Blessed Mother Teresa. And the fourth week is Pope John Paul II. The final five days is just kind of a review of all of those. And so that's kind of how it works. Um, now, I, and it's really great. It just, you take it day by day and you just read it and follow it. It's pretty simple, st straightforward. Now, with St. Louis de Montfort, there are things that you have to kind of gradually give up. And I think you have to pray a rosary. It's been a while since I've actually done his um, consecration. But um, I recommend if you do this, I remember Pope John Paul II saying that prayer and fasting together are the most important, like the most powerful weapons, that form of prayer that we could possibly do. So I recommend, you don't have to, but I recommend if you do this to maybe offer up something like sweets um, or if you can't do food, you know, and it could just be like a specific food that you love chips. You could give up chips for the 33 days um, because our redemptive suffering is just a part of the Catholic faith. Like we can get so much grace and closer to God through that and stuff. So. Um, some, or you could like maybe start praying a rosary every day while you do this. That would be beautiful. So you could add on a prayer or something like that. So I just recommend doing something like that if you do the consecration. The thing I like about this book as well is there are a bunch of prayers. If you're new to the whole Marian idea, if that's just kind of crazy to you and you don't know where to start with it and stuff, that's okay. It is totally fine if you're new to this whole idea of Mary because this book really does kind of help walk you through. Um, but at the end, like it gives you so many different like devotions, like the Chaplet of the Sorrows of Mary. So there's so many different devotions to Marys and saints and all of that. And, and of course, Sacred Heart. And the reason the saints are so awesome is because they truly want us to be in heaven with them to glorify and praise God. And so, um, so that is why we do this, like why we ask for help from the saints. So it teaches you like how to pray the rosary, different prayers. The Memorari is an awesome Marian prayer. Please, I recommend learn the Memorari. Awesome. So there's just all the Marian prayers you could think of are in this. So this book is amazing, it's wonderful. I highly recommend doing the consecration. I have heard that it's recommend, recommended that you do it like once a year. And I didn't realize that, so I think I've only done it twice in my life. But, um, but knowing that, I definitely wanna try to do that this year is do the consecration to Mary and stuff. So anyway, I hope that this video helped you. Please let me know your thoughts on the consecration. Have you done the, the total consecration? Did you do the St. Louis de Montfort one? Maybe one with your children? This one, like which ones did you do? I'm very curious, or is there another one? I think there there might be a couple, but those are like the, the three probably most popular ones in the, the Catholic faith and stuff. So anyway, I hope this video helped you and until next time, I will see you all later. God bless, bye.